if you use a passcode on your iPhone, you have basically two options. You can either one, use just a normal four digit passcode, or you can use a complex passcode or a password, in other words, on your lock screen here. So I have the complex passcode or password set up here, and my password is actually the word password. So it's not very complex in that regard, but that's a whole nother story. The only thing about that is that you actually have to hit the done button, as you saw right there, to submit the password and unlock your device. You, you don't have to do that when you use a just a normal passcode. You type the numbers in, it unlocks immediately. Well, auto OK, basically what this does is it automatically unlocks your device as soon as it recognizes that your correct password is entered. So what you do is in the preferences, you enable the tweak, you type your, your complex passcode in the little password section, and then you can just start using it. So now when I type in the word password, I don't have to hit that done button. It automatically submits it and unlocks the device. As soon as I hit the D in password, it unlocks. So I guess the tweak should technically be called auto done maybe instead of auto okay. There is no okay button in iOS 7 like there was in previous firmwares, but you know, I'll let them slide on that. It is called auto okay 7. This is a jailbreak tweak that costs 99 cents on Cydia's Big Boss repo. It allows you to automatically submit complex passcodes or passwords when you Put them in on your lock screen. It'll automatically unlock your device. You don't have to tap the done button. Similar to the same way that you do when you put in just a normal four digit passcode, it automatically unlocks your device. And I know off the bat that some people are gonna clown on this tweak and the developer for charging 99 cents for something that seems so simple, but keep in mind this tweak has been completely redone from the ground up for iOS 7. The previous version, just auto okay, is available for iOS 6 and below, and that is free. But if you want this latest version that's been built up from the ground up for iOS 7, you'll need to pay 99 cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.